Well, hello, Stife super fans. Long time no see. I hope you are doing well and holding out well as winter continues. As you can see, I'm very bundled up. I am creating this video in a special tribute. Many of you who have watched these videos have noticed that I often am accompanied by my co-host, which was Boo Boo, who was my ancient fossil pug. Now, sweet, beautiful Boo Boo passed away in her sleep a couple of weeks ago, and I miss her terribly. So, and perhaps you do as well. I'm certain you do. So in honor of her memory, of blessed memory, I thought I would share with you a few highlights from my collection that feature pugs to memorialize her in the best possible way, which is through Stife. So that being said, I'd like to share with you a little history on Stife's pug production and see if you feel as wonderful about them as I do. So the very first pug that appeared in the Stife line appeared in the late 19 teens through the mid 1920s. And that was a pug on wheels. And I wish I had one to share with you because I would love one for my collection. I do not have one. I will share a picture of it with you in this video in a few seconds. But this pug was made out of gray mohair and had a wonderful curly tail, just like the real pug. And he was on wooden eccentric wheels, which is absolutely perfect when you think about it, when you think about a way a pug walks or as I should say, a pug wiggles as it moves along. And so it would wiggle along as you pulled it. And it was really quite a beautiful little thing. And this little guy was made in, I think 17 and 27 centimeters. So he was about this big and about this big, but a really sweet addition. And someday I hope to have one in my collection. The next pug that Stife made was sort of a funny little comical pug. And again, I don't have a picture of this one. I don't have a sample of this guy in my collection. I love one, but I will show you a picture in a few minutes about him. It's a little comical guy, a little mopsy pug with a big red tongue sticking out and it um, and beady eyes and sort of a chunky, lovely personality. And this guy appeared a little tiny, little tiny guy. He was about 14 centimeters and he, he was in the line in the mid twenties, I think from 1925 through about 1927. But here's where it gets real for you and for me. So the next pug I do have in my collection and I love it. This is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. And this was um, bartered on a trade with a really wonderful friend um, in Europe a long time ago, but it still remains one of my favorite items in my collection. Okay, are you ready? This is a little pug doll. Isn't he beautiful? This is sweet little Mopsy, Mopsy dog. Now Mopsy is the word that Stife uses to just to name their pugs because Mops, M-O-P-S is German for pug, which is interesting. And the way to remember that is Mops, a pug likes to mop the floor with their tongue to eat everything in sight. So that's one way to remember. Anyway, so this is Mopsy and Mopsy appeared in the line in three sizes. I think it was 14, 22 and 28 centimeters. This is the middle size about 10 inches. Sort of has a generic body, floppy arms, unjointed and a wonderful pug head. Isn't that just adorable? Very sweet. He came in uh, three sizes and a number of different outfits. And I have embellished his outfit with my mother's high school achievement charm and my grandmother's military pin. So very sweet, very adorable, head jointed, super sweet, love him, love him dearly. Now let's fast forward to post-war and pugs really took off in the 60s, literally 1960 and three really super designs came out then. And I'm gonna share those with you now. So the full bodied pug that came out in 1960, and this guy appeared in 12 and I think 22 centimeters through 1960 through I think 1981 or something like that. So this is Mops, Mopsy. You can see Mopsy on her head. And what's so cute about this is like the real pug, got an ear up, listening for perhaps the sound of the cookie jar opening. Lovely tongue. I don't know, 
Pugs and tongues seem to go together, smiling or looking for food. Lovely eyes that are sort of these black and white googly style eyes and very typical of the period, sort of fun, frivolous, all mohair, head jointed, and just really sweet. So this is little Mopsy. And this is the small size and the bigger size is like this big. Like most popular designs in the past, Stife would create novelties from designs that were doing really well. And so Stife created this puppet, which you identify the face is identical to hello, little Mopsy. And also, hmm, ear up, ear down, listening for something yummy. And this little guy was 17 centimeters which is a standard size for stiff puppets. And this appeared in the line from 1960 through 1978. And a lovely little ribbon, which was original to him. And the tips of his paws are stuffed with Excelsior. His head is stuffed with Excelsior. And he should have a tube in his head for your finger. And it does, it's cardboard. So very sweet. And the last pug I'm going to share with you is the rarest post-war pug. I just love this guy. He's totally silly. He only appeared in the line from 1960 through 1961 in this funny 16 centimeters. This is ball, oops, make you better. This is ball Mopsy and obviously ball because of the shape of his wonderful body. And he is made out of Draylon, which is that very durable material design for children to play with. And he's got all the pug, all the pug things. He's got his ear popping up, which is perfect to hold his button and such. This ear is, is folded down, of course, his tongue and googly eyes. What I think is so funny about this guy is his chest is mohair. So it's kind of like a little bit macho. His body straight line with a mohair chest, like check it out. So ball Mopsy uh, has two cousins as a ball cat and a ball rabbit made around the same time, but a really fun and funky somewhat mid-century novelty for pugs. Anyway, that's my love letter to my sweet pug who has passed away. I hope you've enjoyed this little talk on pugs and their history and learned something. If you have a dog or a pet or a cat or something that you love, give it a special hug today. I guarantee you it's worth your while and your time. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Teddy hugs. I hope all is well. And I look forward to our next lecture on boxing soon. Okay, thanks and bye for now.